Okay, so I want you to imagine that you're just sitting in your room. I can't, I'm already imagining it. What? <laughs> I'm already imagining it. Okay, well, okay, so imagine that you're sitting in your room, but you're playing Call of Duty. Oh, okay. And you're live streaming. Yeah. And you're having fun. You're live streaming your Call of Duty. You're shooting people. And, uh, you know, you're hanging out. And then all of a sudden, um, this happens. I'm pretty done. I'm so, I'm doing awful right now. Look at this. Wow, so you're just playing Black Ops 2 and a SWAT team bursts yes. in? Yeah, what you were hearing was SWAT, uh, just a bunch of SWAT guys realizing that this girl was live streaming and a bunch of online players could see them in the room SWATting, like coming to her house and, and surrounding it and putting her on the floor. So what's the wow. deal with this? Well, SWATting is a thing. It's called SWATting. The FBI came up with that term because this happened so much. In two, like it started in 2008, started happening so much they came up with the term for it. And swatting is when it started as something that um, rivals did to each other. Like if you, if someone was beating you at a game, or if you just didn't like an online gamer, what you would do is uh, you found a way to call the police and make it seem like that call was coming from inside your rival's house, and you pretended to be that person and said something like. I'm killing my family or I shot my family or I have a bomb or I'm holding these people hostage or, uh, you know, you say some horrific crime. Yeah, yeah, we get and it. And what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's like a lot that? of examples. Okay, okay. I'll kill my family or I'll shoot my family or I'll put my family in a tub Nothing and drown my family. No, like they have to, they have to act. Right, you right, no. You can't just be like, I'm holding a, a gun and pointing at my cat. They're not going to, I don't know what they're going to do. Well, they could Anyway, it has to be terrible. <laughs> You know, and so they send a SWAT team over and bust in, and then you can like watch as your rival gets swatted. That's insane! I can't believe there's you can do that. I can't yeah. believe that the, the 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 FBI can't figure out like when someone's hacking into your phone and calling no. on your well, behest. Here's here's the thing: is that the hackers got so good at it that even when people started getting caught. They adjusted it so it just became harder and harder. Like the hackers are just always one step ahead of uh, of these people. Wow. And sometimes it would just show up as anonymous. And so like they couldn't really they the person would just give the address, be like, I'm at this place. You better come or else I'm going to kill someone else. Wow. So they had like li really no choice but to respond. Um, and yeah. So anyway, it became so common, though. This was happening so much in the gaming community that. When it happened, people weren't even that surprised, like, for this dude. They're clearing rooms. What in the world? I think we're getting swatted. I think we're getting swatted. What in the world? Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hands behind your back! So this guy kind of just saw wow. it coming. He was like, oh, looks like we're getting swatted. He was in his office, this guy. Wow. And yeah, he's it, just in his office. He's playing. You hear uh, a SWAT team movie. in your office, and you're like, oh, well, it looks like I'm getting swatted. Yeah, It's yeah, not even exactly. like a big deal to him, you know? Yeah, he just knows about it, and he's not that worried about it. And this 
this video actually went viral and a bunch of people saw it. And then the worst thing happened. Like, I guess the FBI was like trying to keep it under wraps. But then everyone became exposed to this swatting ability. And uh, people started swatting celebrities. Oh, no. Celebrities? Oh. So there's like over 30 celebrities that have been swatted. Oh, my God. Yeah, a lot of them. So much that it was happening like six times a week. Wow. Like, really? I, I think in, yeah. And it's kind of. Who would you so swat, like, Sebastian? If you could swat a celebrity, who would you swat? Well, uh, would I? I would get to watch the footage afterwards. You get you're watching it as it happens. Well, see, here's the difference. Oh, as it happens. Yeah. Well, see, this is the thing: is that these people weren't online streaming. I should specify is that it stopped being something that only online streamers were doing. It started being something that people oh, just did. Oh, you just did. call the police on somebody. Well, because now it was making the news. Oh if my god! If you swat a celebrity, then now it's like, oh, it's not enough that I can just watch it on on my computer. I want to watch this on the news. Wow. So, like, people like. Puff Daddy. You could swat Trump. I would probably swat Steve Buscemi because it would be really funny to see him react to the SWAT team. <laughs> yeah. I mean, his eyes just popping out of his head. Oh my the, God. The people that were Chris Brown, Miley Cyrus, Justin Timberlake, Rihanna, um, Snoop Dogg, Kim Kardashian, Selena Gomez, Clint Eastwood. Clint um, Eastwood? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest was like the sixth one in a week or something like wow. that. Um, Taylor Swift. Uh, oh, no. Do you think these Just- SWAT guys got excited? It was like, oh, yeah, we're going to go <laughs> have to get Taylor Swift today. That's pretty what's, cool. What's <laughs> annoying is that like these guys, like when, when it was at a celebrity's house, they would bring like an insane amount of SWAT team. Of like, course, because everyone wants to go. It was a big deal. Yeah, it was like really, really big deal. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all, we're going to Seacrest's house to SWAT them. You want to come? <laughs> of course I, I want to come. In. Call up the next precinct. They're coming, too. <laughs> the worst part about it, though, is that they're never home. None oh, of these celebrities were ever home. Yeah, Tom Cruise was swatted. No one was ever home, though. Oh, that stinks. Yeah, but then, unfortunately, like, most normal people are home, and this gives them a fucking heart attack. Yeah, yeah. or um, it doesn't, or they're just like, oh, looks like I'm getting swatted. Well, I another mean, day in the office, SWAT team come <laughs> through, pointing guns in my face. I he know, was laughing. That guy, that guy that was guy. laughing during it. He's like, ha ha. And then the cops like, um, the cops like, what's funny, you bitch? He kept calling <laughs> him boy. They shouldn't call people boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, so yeah, they swatted. Um, they were in California. I mean, after all these swattings were happening in Hollywood and stuff like that, um, a senator, state senator, also made like a a bill to pass like for punishment for swatters, and that guy got swatted. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> you just and, can't escape uh, it. That guy got it's, swatted, it's and then he's funny. Too. He goes, he's like, I tried to pass this spill, and then I got swatted. Yeah, Man. it's kind of hum- It's kind of funny, but it's horrifying. Can you yeah. imagine if that happened with other bills? Like, I tried to pass this bill to stop water from being polluted, and then my water got polluted. And then anyway, my- let's move on from that bit. <laughs> Brian, you really trailed <laughs> off on that joke. I thought you meant like, and then I got swatted. I mean, maybe. Oh, yeah, that would have been funnier. Okay. Um, and a conservative pol- um, politician guy named Eric Erickson got swatted. I don't know if you guys know who this guy is. He's pretty, sh- he's pretty concerned. He hates gays and feminists. Yeah. He's well, that's had good some, that they swatted him. Pretty- he deserves to well, get swatted, right? I mean, what's kind of, yeah. He, he's, one of his tweets is, if you don't know, um, wait, if, uh. Feminists have no sense of humor, but clearly God did when he made feminists. Oh, my God. So this oh. guy got swatted, huh? So someone so called this, up the the so police pretending to be him? Yes, so this guy called up pretending <laughs> to be this asshole, and this is what he said. Just uh, shot my wife, so... You just shot your wife? I don't think I could come down there. Where's your wife at now? Uh, she's dead now. You, you just shot your wife and she's dead and you don't know where she's located at? Well, I know where she's located. Where is she located I'm at, looking sir? looking at her. Yeah. What's your phone number, sir? I don't know. I, I guess you're going to have to find out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot someone else soon. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that guy called claiming to be this gay-hating feminist, poli- like, political... Uh, he was a good actor. Conservative. You know, he had the apathy of someone who might actually do it. <laughs> I know. That sigh. I felt that sigh. I yeah. Know. He was oh. good. Also, what did that guy say? He's like, oh, you just shit your water? Or like, I don't know. I couldn't really understand. No, you he didn't. Shot your wife. He didn't know, say that at all, weird. Phoebe. What What the <laughs> hell? 
<laughs> Why would he say anything about water at that point? He's a I professional. The word water. Can you play the for the beginning of it? Yeah, I can play the beginning of it. Play the beginning of it. Just uh, shot my wife, so. You just shot your wife. I don't think I could come down there. Where's your wife at now? <laughs> All right. I hear what you're saying. I okay, hear it. Okay, I just had so, no, I noticed that. Shot Maybe it was you it shot I... your what now? Yeah. <laughs> right. It yeah, does he, sound he, like he, he said, you just shot your water? Well, that doesn't do anything. It just goes and through like, it. Yeah. Yeah, I shot my water. Anyway, so that's pretty scary. So the cops, so the like, SWAT team went to Eric Erickson's house after that? Yeah, they went to Eric and Erickson. And Eric Erickson talks about it, how um, SWAT team showed up. He was there having like a barbecue oh, or something. Oh, boy. Real classy. You know, and his kids were all excited that the that the police were <laughs> there. And a police officer came up there and said, we received a call that you accidentally shot your wife. He's flipping burgers so, and he's like, oh, looks like I'm being swatted. But he added the word accidentally, which annoyed me oh. because it's like if that was anybody else, they would have just assumed. They're protecting him. Yeah, they right. protected him. Like if it was it, Justin Timberlake or something, they would have been like, you, you, you definitely shot your wife. I mean, I don't know. We all I, saw maybe, Gone Girl. Maybe, but they protected him, and then it turned out that they actually had, like, the whole neighborhood surrounded. Wow. Something like that. Maybe he made it more extreme, yeah. Eric Erickson. I wonder anyway. what they said for Chris Brown, if they were like, I just hit my wife. And then they're like, <laughs> Rihanna, you hit Rihanna? And he's like, yeah, but she's going to come out with another song. So Chris Brown, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, that's what happens. Chris, every time Chris Brown hits Rihanna, she comes out with a new hit. Is that a coincidence? I'm No, that's exactly what she wants and what what is no, happening she doesn't need to get hit to come out with a new all song. of rihanna's songs are about how she forgives chris brown for hitting her well, she, <laughs> without that a, she wouldn't write anything yeah she write a song about like oh i have a nice car <laughs> <laughs> no 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 today. look i'm gonna f- publicly take that back that's not what i really think that's I think, what i really think i think okay, S- so, sia wrote all of rihanna's songs here's the thing only like 14 year olds are doing this Mm. So it's really hard to prosecute. It's wow. really hard to put people away for this. It costs ten thousand dollars, like every time, it, over ten thousand dollars to like send a SWAT team places. Jesus. It's like a really bad situation. So much so, they have to like screen SWAT calls and like big calls like this and change their protocol, wow. which maybe is good because maybe it's a little yeah. intense. You should have uh, swatted the guy that broke into your car. <laughs> I should have. Yeah, that would be good if I could. Could just... he? Yeah. Has, he's got my phone. Download... It's not that hard. It's I... really easy. Teenagers do it. I know because you you like tried so hard and not, no one helped you. Nobody but helped you me. Just... Yeah, I just swatted just... them. Then they would have been over there, all over this guy. Yeah, but you know one what? Kid... If they can't punt it, oh, you have something to say about one kid? Well, one kid went to jail for is in jail for eleven years for doing it. But if the kids are too young to punish. Like if mm-hmm. if they're then you know what they should do instead of uh, instead of just letting them go off free, they should put these kids in a room and they should play this. Because you will kill yourself immediately upon hearing this. 